Hey guys, we are live again on Tuesday, every Tuesday at 3 for the live session. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're just waiting for Instagram to go live and then we can start with this week's topic. This week's topic will be about knowledge. As an entrepreneur, knowledge. What do I need? What do I need to have? We are live on Instagram and this week we're talking about knowledge as an entrepreneur. But first, a few um, with knowledge, I'm going to share a few books that you can read. I brought five books today that you can read that will definitely make a big impact on your knowledge as an entrepreneur. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, a few announcements. The first announcement is we got some awesome merchandise. So we recently printed some awesome mugs um, it has everything on and it says millionaire in the making so the perfect perfect mug to ha have if you're drinking your morning coffee and then we got some awesome caps and on the side it says millionaire 22 so yeah I love my flat caps so I said we needed to make some so we have flat caps and mugs um, hi Idaline Travis uh, Cecilia and Ricardo, how's it going today? If you're enjoying the live session today, send a shop. We're going to talk a bit about entrepreneurial knowledge and I'm going to show you five books that you can read. Um, okay guys, so flat caps, mugs, go check them out on the website. Then some more news. I'm next week I'm going to be at Artica Fia Klein Kariba. I'm going to talk at the Jeugd Berat. Um, for all of the high school kids across South Africa, we're going to share a bit of financial concepts and wisdom with the kids and make an impact. Awesome guys, super excited and um, let's start with this week's live session. If you have any questions, send them through and we will answer them live. You can send it through by just messaging on the live video as you watch it and I will answer the questions live as we go along. Uh, so, we're talking about knowledge as an entrepreneur. Now, here's a bit of a blunt, straightforward statement. If you're an entrepreneur and you think you know what you're doing, you don't. Okay? You don't know what you're doing. If you think you're an entrepreneur and you know everything, you've already lost. Okay, you've already lost. There's so much knowledge that you need to gain through your journey as an entrepreneur. Um, I deal with so many entrepreneurs that I consult. I do business consulting. Then these guys have been three years in business. They've been running businesses for three to five years, even seven years. And then I ask them, how many books have you read? And then they'll say they haven't read any. And I'm like, what is happening? As an entrepreneur, this is your profession. Uh, this is what you need to focus on and what you need to do. And you need to be able to, to showcase knowledge. You need to be able to store this knowledge in the back of your mind. And even myself, I'm an entrepreneur that's still on a journey. I'm still growing my businesses. I'm still buying more properties. I'm still, you know, learning myself. And I'm still reading and learning and watching videos myself. And most of the things I say as Millionaire 22 on all of these platforms might be wrong. And that's just because I'm still learning as well. But what I'm sharing is lessons I've learned, tools I've learned, tools and, mess and les lessons that worked for me in my journey of becoming a millionaire 22, in my journey of buying properties and renting them out and creating a passive income for myself, in my journey of taking a business with a thousand five hundred rand startup capital, only a thousand five hundred rand in cash and turning it into a business that turns eight hundred thousand rand a year. But guys, there's other people out there in the world that's also taking a thousand five hundred rand startup capital business and changing it into millions of rands in one year. Okay? And there's lessons that can be learned from them as well. So what I want to bring across today, the message I want to bring across is if you're an entrepreneur, if you're on this journey to become a successful entrepreneur, to make a success of your business, to grow uh, yourself financially and to become financially independent, you need to keep on learning. 
you need to keep on learning and um, uh, one of the things I based my book on is the fact that millionaires think differently than you do the biggest secret in business guys the biggest <coughs> biggest secret in terms of becoming a millionaire is knowing that millionaires think differently than you do okay guys so um if i got that point across are you guys enjoying the live session so far send the shop on the live session if you're enjoying it um adeline travis celia ricardo pierre hey pierre how's it going um shalandri and Gareth Bota. guys uh, thank you for joining in if you have any questions at this stage send them through and we would answer them live so the point i'm bringing bringing across is as an entrepreneur you need knowledge you need to keep on learning. You need to keep on expanding your mind. If you think that you already know it all, if you think that you've figured out everything, you're going to lose and you've already lost. You have to understand that you need to keep on learning. Even if you become a millionaire at 22, you still need to keep on learning. So today, I brought five books that I would suggest to any um, entrepreneur or businessman that's either starting out or in the process of growing their business and moving forward in the entrepreneurial journey. So I just went to my cupboard, uh, my book cupboard today, picked five books and um, brought them with. So the first one I would suggest for any startup entrepreneur or beginner entrepreneur, even if you haven't re read it before and you're in your business, like I said, I get guys that's been seven years in business and haven't even read one book, um, Would I would suggest this one. All of you know this one. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Okay, and what this book does is it changes your mind in terms of how you view finance, how you view income, and how you view what you spend on. So it changes your mindset in terms of knowing how to create passive income and what is an asset and what is a liability. And that changes the way you look at the things you buy and look at the way you save or use your money. Okay, so Robert Kiyosaki's reached that poor dad. The next one I brought from my book cupboard is Rules of Wealth. The Rules of Wealth by Richard Templar. And this was a big eye opener for me when I was a very young boy. Um, it it learned me all of the, the the boring stuff, the you know nitty gritty stuff in terms of how money works. You know finance types of investments you know things you need to do with your money rules of creating wealth so when i was uh, this was my i think my third or, or my fifth book that i read when i was uh, still in the beginning phases and was really insightful in terms of all of the nitty-gritty what, what you can call boring financial stuff but it was a really an eye-opener in terms of how money works rules of wealth by richard templar then how to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This is one of the awesomest books I've ever read, um, if awesomest is a word. And um, it, it's about the mindset, the way you think, the way you walk, the way you interact with other people. And thinking, it, it, the title says how to influence people um, and you know how to win friends and influence people. But it's not really about that. It's about how to change the way you um, act and how you interact with people uh, to get a better result in your life. And what's the most awesome part of this book is that this guy had interviews with Abraham Lincoln and all of the great leaders in his time. Um, and you get to read this firsthand. Uh, where in your life would you be able to interview Abraham Lincoln? And with this book, you can. So this is the third book I'll suggest as a startup entrepreneur businessman or even if you just want to expand your business and improve your uh, level. So I have two more books left for you guys. Um, but first, Adeline, Travis, Celia, Ricardo, Pierre, um, Garrett, uh, Tyron, Danny, uh, Jan, L Leon, um, guys, thanks for joining into the live session. If you have any questions, send them through. A lot of guys sending shop signs. Guys, is this a good live session? Send through the shop signs if you like what you're seeing. Um, a lot of shop signs coming through now. So today we're talking a bit about knowledge. 
as an entrepreneur and then you need to keep on learning and I brought five books worth that any entrepreneur beginner entrepreneur or even if you're in your journey can read so we did uh, we did uh, Robert Kiyosaki's Rich Dad Poor Dad we did Rules of Wealth by Richard Templar and we did How to Win Friends and Influence People now the fourth book is Simon Sinek's Start With Why Start With Why by Simon Sinek and if you're an entrepreneur business owner or want to start your endeavor or side hustle or whatever this is something you need to read it's all about why you do what you do why you want to start this business the reason why you're doing it and the reason it should be important for other people why other people should you know worry about what you're doing and it made a big difference in terms of how I structured my businesses how I run my businesses and the reason behind it in all assets as an owner as a business owner but as well as your employees and teammates and partners and people working with you in business super cool book start with why so it's all about the purpose behind what you do and then the last one this is one I only recently read and it is uh, the richest man in Babylon okay it's by George S Clayson and it is awesome it's it's very um, simplistic in terms uh, of it's it's sometimes stuff you already know and it makes sense immediately as you read it it's like yeah I know this it's it's basic it's simplistic but the way it's being structured and the way it the story is being told it is awesome in terms of just thinking back a bit on what do you do with your finances and this book talks about what do you do with your finances how to generate wealth and how to keep on compounding that wealth and keep on generating wealth as you go through your uh, journey and how to make sure that you end up as a some type of richest man in Babylon so this is a very cool book uh, to, to, to teach you about how what to do with your finances and how to work with your finances so very cool so guys that's my five books my five recommendations I just went to my book cupboard this morning and took five books that I thought would really be a good um, read for a startup entrepreneur businessman or someone that just wants to expand their business and expand their uh, skill level and mindset guys to summarize today's message is you need to keep on learning you need to keep on growing your mind you need to keep on putting information in there in your subconscious that can come up when you're in the game on the field in your business uh, hustling and doing what needs to be done you need to keep on growing as an entrepreneur and I think the best way to do it the best way that's worked for me is by reading books and if you don't like reading get the audiobooks listen to it and there's so much knowledge in there whenever I talk at an event I always ask them guys who has read one book and remember then it's entrepreneurs it's business owners it's people sitting in front of me that own and run businesses I'm like who has read one book a lot of hands who has read three books less hands who has read five books who has read ten books who has read 20 books who has read 30 books and I want you to think as you're sitting there how many books have you've read what does your mind look like imagine the mind of the person that's read 20 books imagine you can open up that mind and see what's inside there that is power guys that is power so having all of that knowledge and being able to implement it on the spot guys that's my two cents for today live session tuesday everyone thanks for joining in if you're just joining in now or in the middle of the video you can go check it out at the top in my stories remember i'm at article fear clan kariba next week and we have these awesome caps and mugs uh, we recently got some new merchandise for millionaire 22 guys every tuesday we're live get your questions ready for next tuesday at three and we would answer them on the live session have a great day